So I'm going to talk a bit about um, how we support, as, as district councils, how we support the tourism sector. <coughs> the first question is why do we support the tourism sector? Well, it's an important part of the um, economy for both districts, um, and both districts have a strategic objective to build the local economy. Tourism um, involves a lot of work, and it, it feeds into a lot of the work that we do, particularly in market towns, um, in the rural areas, um, projects such as the LEADER project, which um, is a rural grant scheme that we run, um, and just into the general economic development. So if somebody's looking to set up a new business, needs some business support, um, need to find premises, etc., that's all, all areas that we help in terms of economic development team. In South Oxfordshire in particular, um, there's a specific corporate priority to increase the value of the visitor economy in South Oxfordshire. Um, and we're measuring this by number of hits to the web pages. Um, some of you will be familiar with the southernoxfordshire.com uh, tourism website that we launched um, about a year ago. Um, over the last year, we've had 360,000 page views uh, to that website, and we're aiming to increase that 20% year on year. So we're really going full guns to, to try and um, increase the number of, of um, visitors that are, are looking at our website. Tourism is a very important sector to uh, both districts. It's worth over £430 million pounds to Southern Oxfordshire. It supports over 7,000 jobs. We have over 7.7 um, .7 million day visitors um, to the area and 644,000 staying visitors. And we're really trying to boost those staying visitors through developments such as you'll see today. going to talk about what, what each council does in terms of, of tourism, um, starting with South Oxfordshire. Um, South Oxfordshire have um, appointed tourism marketing consultants, um, a company called Team, um, to deliver um, tourism marketing for the period of uh, 2013 to 2016. Um, some, of the, some of you based in South Oxfordshire will be familiar with um, Sarah and Jackie who, who work for Team and hopefully, um, if not, they'll be making contact with you soon. Um, and these are just some of the areas that they are working on. Um, one of the initiatives that they have set up is the Midsum Midsummer Murders um, development and the Midsummer Murders website, um, but maximising development of that. So actually converting what's a really nice theme for the district into actual tangible deliverables on the ground. So um, what they like to call bombs on seats. Um, basically converting um, groups, um, particularly Scandinavian groups, believe it or not, Missing and Murders is the number one TV programme to watch in Scandinavia. Um, and it's prime time um, screening on a Saturday night where they all settle down to watch um, um, Barnaby. Um, so we're trying to use that as a, as a theme and we've got a number of press trips coming up um, and um, it's been marketed quite extensively with the groups market as well. In the Vale, we don't have any direct um, tourism <coughs> marketing consultants, but it works alongside um, tourism delivery, delivery works alongside the, our existing economic development work um, with the team. So if you are in the tourism sector, you'll already be familiar with, with the team and we're here to, to support you as businesses. But then there's obviously a range of initiatives being um, a shared economic development team that we work across the two councils. With obviously I mentioned the website southernoxfordshire.com, um, and obviously Oxtrails is, is is a hugely exciting joint project that we're that we're working on. Just a bit on Oxtrails itself. Um, it's been a leader funded project, as I mentioned earlier. Leader is a project that um, it funds rural initiatives across um, southern Oxfordshire. Um, and a special mention to Trudy, who worked very hard in in putting that application together, and actually has helped develop the whole project. Um, from start. Um, it's a very new and innovative approach. It's something that other district councils haven't done yet, so I think we're the first in, in taking such a project on and developing such an initiative. Um, more importantly, it'll help create those visitors that want to stay longer in the area and actually want to spend more money locally as well. Um, as I said earlier, we get a lot of day visitors, but a lot of them stay in Oxford or travel on to, to somewhere else. We want them to stay um, in Southern Oxfordshire and obviously through that we'd be, spe be spending more in, in all of our businesses across um, the district. Um, the other thing with Oxtrails is because it's interactive, because it's um, technology led, it'll help us track more. So it'll help us understand 
more about who the visitors are, what they, what they do when they're here, and um, help us target marketing much more effectively than, than general leaflets and things that perhaps we've done in the past. But to make it a success, we really need you. We need you to help us um, to support, to help promote the app, to um, get involved. When you've got visitors, if you're a bed and breakfast accommodation, tell them about it, show them how to use it. Um, we've got lots of postcards and, and um, leaflets about, uh, about the scheme, so um, please do pick some up and, and spread the word. But um, I'll now hand over to James, who's going to tell you all about the exciting stuff. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.